Hello viewers, I am Mike Lee. Today we are going to see 11th CBSE Max Straight Lines Miscellaneous Exercise Question number 22. Let's see the question. A ray of light passing through a point 1 comma 2 reflects on the x axis at a point A and the reflected ray passes through the point 5 comma 3. Find the coordinates of A. Now let me take a x axis. This is your x axis. Now, uh, there is a light passing through it. It passes through the point 1, 2. On the x-axis, it turns the reflected ray passes through 5, 3. This is the reflected ray. This is the incident ray. Now, let me draw a 90 degree line. This will be 90 degree. I am taking this to be alpha, even this will be alpha. You know that in physics we have learned that the incident, angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. If I take this to be theta, even this will be theta. Because here it is 90 degree, if this two are equal, then this will be equal because of this 90 degree. This, this will be 90 minus theta. So it will be equal. Now, I have drawn it. Now we'll move on to the slope of this line. The slope of this line will be, you need to check with the x-axis, always with the x-axis. So the angle of slope will be theta for this. For this line, for this line, the slope I can take to be total 180 minus theta. So for this line, it will be 180 minus theta will be the total angle of this. For this, for this line, it will be theta. We need to always check with the x-axis. So it is total 180 minus this. You will get the this angle, this total angle. Now, let me write this to be e. this. They have given A, B, C. Now angle for C, A, X is theta. Similarly, B, A, X is 180 minus theta. So, we know that m is equal to tan theta. Slope formula is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 is equal to tan theta for CAX. As it passes through the point 5 comma 3, here I am going to, it, it, is, it is on the x-axis, so I am going to take it to be a comma 0. So this point x1 y1 I am taking this to be x2 y2 it becomes three minus zero by five minus a is equal to tan theta. Now same way for this line. Tan, the theta value here is 180 minus theta. So 180 minus theta is equal to same formula y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So it becomes tan 180 minus theta is tan theta. It lies on the second quadrant. So tan there is negative. So minus tan theta equal to here the point same points. I am going to take this one as x1 uh, x1 y1 and x2 y2 so it becomes 2 by 1 minus a now bring the sign to the side so tan theta equal to 2 by 1 minus a we can equate equation 1 and equation 2 because they are equal tan theta equal to tan theta so we can equate the values over there. Equating 1 and 2, we get 3 by 5 minus a equal to minus 2 by 1 minus a. Cross multiply it. Now this becomes 3 minus 3a equal to minus 10 plus 2a. Bring everything to other side. 5 to the side. So 3 plus 10 is equal to 2a plus 3a it becomes 5a equal to 13 so a equal to 13 by 5 
we want the value of a so a becomes 13 by 5 comma 0 because of x axis there is no y value in it this is this will be your final answer for the sum that's all with the sum thank you